a long time. Well, he's very much the same way Joe Kraft is. They're out, and they they don't get consulted, and uh, they, they don't feel a great power. And you could throw all three of them on scales at once, and it would be 89 pounds. But uh, they have these little parties out at Georgetown, and they discuss. And uh, Bill Moyers tells me, I, I just want to be sure there's no basis for this, that... Uh, uh, they had a party last night, and Joe also called up uh, very excited today and said that he and Kraft and all uh, uh, Evans. And was this at Evans' house? Yeah. There was, I know I was invited to one, and I couldn't remember what night it was. Last night I could Well, it was Evans' house, and the Kennedy crowd decided that I had framed uh, up to get to armed services in the Senate to call McCone to uh, put the Vietnam War on Kennedy's tomb, and that I uh, had a conspiracy going on to show that it was Kennedy's immaturity and poor judgment that originally led us into this thing that uh, uh, got us involved and that his execution of it uh, had uh, uh, brought havoc to the country. And that McCone had gone up and done it, and that uh, this was uh, my game to uh, lay off, uh, lay Vietnam off onto uh, Kennedy's inexperience and immaturity and so forth. Uh, a good deal more, but that was the guts of it. Uh, I explained by saying that I knew nothing about his being called. That was Russell. And McCone told me he was going. McCone told me he was distressed about some weapons, but I told Bill not to tell him that. That's all he talked to me about. He didn't mention Vietnam. That uh, I asked McNamara to uh, consider it take a look at it. McNamara had an officer go with McCone. McCone told me he was going to ask him to. And I subsequently, I hadn't heard McCone since, and hoped I didn't, but I subsequently checked with McNamara, and he told me that he thought things were all right, so I assumed, since McNamara was a part of the administration, that uh, he was going to be tagged with the war in any case. <laughs> what? And it's going to be tagged with the war in any case. <laughs> since he was a part of the administration, I'd assume that he didn't resent very much what it said, or he would have said to me that it didn't go right, or it, didn't, it wasn't true or something, but he told me that uh, the hearing went off all right, and I guess he'd be a good authority to, uh, to tell him that, that I considered myself responsible for every decision made by Kennedy. Uh, beginning with uh, the nomination of the vice president and the adoption of the platform through the Bay of Pigs, through the uh, Dominican Republic and Jim uh, uh, problems, and right down to uh, that day in Dallas. And that I had uh, had uh, an opinion on occasion too, including uh, civil rights and one or two others. But I never discussed them with anybody but the president and never discussed them with anyone since and didn't propose to. And that whatever he did, I supported it. And uh, uh, if they can find a more loyal man in this town to him or to his memory, I'd like for him to produce him. And that I had a considerably bigger slice of the Kennedy presidential pie making him president than either Roland Evans or Joe Kraft, even though they wrote a few speeches. Now that's about the story. I don't. Want, it's not worthy of a lot of your attention, except I wanted you to know that that's what they were saying, and I assume that uh, it's an injustice to McCone too, isn't it? I think so, Mr. President. I talked to. Uh, I haven't talked to McCone, but I took myself talked to Fitch, and uh, also to Buzz Wheeler had talked to Fitch, and it was Buzz's opinion, as it was mine, that based on what Fitch told us. Now, I haven't seen any text or anything like that, but based on what Fitch told us, it was my impression that McCone did a good job. I do know this, that from everything you said, uh, you would have been delighted if McCone hadn't gone up there. Sure, so to, sure, to, sure. to indicate that you uh, uh, <laughs> maneuvered the uh, appearance, just as obviously incorrect, uh, I can 
maybe do something about this. I, I probably should have gone to that party last night. It was, I think, a farewell party for Forrestal. I had to go to Herders, and I didn't didn't go. But I can uh, uh, get back into communication with some of those people, and and uh, I think throw some light of realism on onto whatever they're thinking about. Did I understand that also called to to report this or to uh, call to report it to you know, bail? Because I think that also uh, strongly supported. Uh, President Kennedy's decision <coughs> to engage in this war, if you want to call it that. Yeah. So I, I can't imagine now he'd be going back and trying to uh, accuse him of making some serious errors and getting mixed up with it. Well, no, Alsop's not. Alsop yeah. is saying that I'm doing that. Yeah. Alsop's charging that I'm getting McCone to go up and and uh, lay the blame for Vietnam on Kennedy. Kennedy's tomb. Yeah. Well. Now, of course, uh, I have never laid any blame on Kennedy. No. Have you ever heard me blame no, Kennedy? No, no, ab absolutely not. No, no. I, even when you knew that I did not uh, share opinion. That's right. No, I, I've mentioned this to Jackie several times. I was very impressed by your attitude on that. Well, the president was alive, as a matter of fact. I may not have anything else in my life, but I got loyalty. You know. <laughs> Well, anyway, I want you to know it. Well, I want you to straighten it out. If you you might find out, yeah. though, to be sure that nothing like uh, this happened. Uh, uh, I, I can't believe it did, or you'd known it. I think if they'd gone up there and said that we got into Vietnam, I was told by someone that Russell purposely came out and said we reviewed Vietnam as a cover for the, for the submarine and uh, and the, the missiles. Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you? Vietnam. Uh, well, Cone didn't tell me, and so Russell didn't. I don't know who. It must have been some newspaper man that suspected. Somebody told me, though, that he came out and, and discussed that. But uh, I think that uh, if uh, any of this crowd is in your vicinity or in your associate's vicinity, I think what you ought to say to them is this, that uh, uh, I came into uh, Vietnam. I went out there in early 61. I was permitted to make any recommendation I want to at any time, but I assume full responsibility for everything and don't ask anybody else to take it, including President Kennedy. And during his lifetime, whatever he did, I was far. And in his death, uh, it's my complete responsibility, and I don't, I don't shove it off on anybody else. And uh, that's that. Sure. Well, I, I'll, I'll do that, and I think I can do something on this. You know, you probably know that Kraft and Evans are related by marriage. Their wives are are cousins. No, I didn't know and, that. Yeah, they are, and, and they're close from that point of view, and I, I can, I'll try to get at both of them. Thank you.